Welcome, brunettes and blondes and... Yeah, let's not exclude gingers. Brunettes, blondes and gingers. <laughs> to today's video, where I'll be explaining to you which general path makes sense if you are a fresh guy at the game or if you already have got some generals, what could be the most sensible. First of all, I'd say there is about four ways which make sense. Maybe there's more, that's just the four I could come up with in that time now. Anyway, I'd say there is one infantry way, one cavalry way, one in-app purchase way and one artillery way. I'm going to start with the infantry way of doing it and that is I would suggest to first save up to get Carl. Just in my experience he's loads of fun to play, he is super strong and I mean he is quite expensive but in the beginning you play some campaigns, you get a lot of medals and you can play the conquest and you'll, you will save up quite fast to, to get Carl. Once you've got Carl, I would suggest to go to another uh, infantry general who also has infantry mass which is Masena. Now with these two they will be like a dynamic duo. If you rank up their infantry master that's yeah what you should do and then they'll help each other quite a lot and strengthen everybody around them. It's like a super strong blab basically. After that I suggest to go away from infantry and get the one cavalry you'll need and that is Davu. As you can see with my team I've got a lot of infantry and I decided to get Davu as my only cavalry because if you go for only a one cavalry then get Davu. After that I go again back to infantry and get Washington as he's just a damaged beast and you can just send him ramping around the map and he'll destroy everything on his way. After Washington I say to have you know all types of units because I, I, I think you should have of every unit type at least one. I'd either go for Kututov but he's rather expensive I don't really see him being so much better than the other ones next to him. And that would be Mahmoud, which is super strong. He's got the artillery expert, which is quite useful. And yeah, he's just a generally good uh, general and he can go up to emperor, so he's quite strong. Or if you don't really care too much about artillery, just get Alexander. He is just the same, he's quite strong and he can aid the artillery around him. Quite useful. And yeah. Just go for one artillery, I'd say, only one. And then I'd still say go for one navy in the end, and then you can just adjust your team. So I'd say for navy, either go for hood, if you can get the 50% off, or go for Nelson if you have the medals for it, but he's expensive. So that would be my general infantry way. So first go for some good infantry boys, then get of each other type of unit at least one. So one cavalry, artillery, and navy, and then you can still stock up on more infantry and get the better infantry, maybe still get Lannes, and yeah, pretty soon you'll be done then you can still take the best generals. Now the second way which you could do it is the artillery way and for the artillery I'll go with the strongest artillery first which is Murat and the strategy here basically is you have some artillery with a cavalry commander and you'll just put them next to each other and the same like as infantry they'll all aid each other and they'll all make each other better. So first of all go for Murat, second of all go for Davu for that extra oomph for that damage then probably you should go for an uh, infantry guy and if you only take one infantry I'd say again grab Washington he probably is just the strongest output infantry so get him. After that you can get a cavalry more which would be probably I guess Ney is quite good. Ney is very strong or Bagration if you can get the 50% off again a decent addition to your team just because it's so cheap. Then like I've said before get of, uh, uh, each unit type still one more so cannons I get maybe Gududzov or one of or maybe Scott just one one artillery and in the end one navy because navy is just again navy is always the same grab either hood or grab either nelson just screw the rest then there's the way which um, some people use which is inner purchases and just so you know inner purchases won't make you go in this game they are quite strong but they won't make you just to run through everything so if you get some of the inner purchases or all of them I mean if you get them you get still a decent stash of medals so you can easily get some good generals. So if, if you go for infantry, uh, for inner purchases, get all of the best medals. So get Mura, get Washington, get Carl, get, I mean if you get Napoleon I wouldn't get any under, uh, cav uh, cannon. So Kutuzov is rather useless, you only need one cannon. And go for Nelson, just go for the beasts of every unit because you've got enough medals anyway. You've got the cash if you're going to spend on it so yeah <laughs> and if you choose one of uh, the three inner purchase I would actually advise to get Blutcher because it makes the most sense you don't I just he's the best cavalry and the other two are I mean and yeah, Napoleon's not so strong and Wellesley can be easily substituted by Carl or Washington I would say if you want to get inner purchase get them in the order Wellesley Napoleon uh, 
the Wellesley. Blutcher, Napoleon, Wellesley. And the last way, which is a way of purchasing, which I now really wouldn't advise, but I mean, if you're a ca uh, artillery fan, go the artillery way, which would be get Mahmoud first, so get uh, artillery expert. Then maybe go for Alexander, again an expert, so two artilleries next to each other, going ham. After that, get Kutuzov for some extra oomph again, super strong. After that, go for the offer again, like I said, every time, each unit type. So I'd say first get Davu. After that, get Washington. And again, in the end, typical combination of Navy, either Hood or Nelson. And another question, which still could be answered by this method is, should you first go for one general and then rank him up to the max? So for example, get Carl and make him an absolute beast. Or should you get each general and then after that, after you've got all those generals, you slowly rank them up. And I, I now went for the getting each general and then slowly ranking up method. But I can't really say if the one super strong general and the next super strong general and the next makes a real difference. And I, I couldn't really tell you be what better to advise. I now played this way because it's more fun to have in conquests and campaigns to have different types of generals for different units. And sometimes you like start off with infantry, as with uh, navy and whatever. So I like a good variety. But I mean, I also can understand if you want an absolute beast general. But I just now didn't do it that way. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. If you stuck till the end, you might think about joining my Discord if it is dedicated. Link is in the description. And okay. Bye. Have a great day.